Okay, this one's a little off topic. Well, uh, not that I really have a topic, but a uh, cool little project I got involved in, so I thought I'd do a short little recap of it. Um, NASCAR Cafe in Sevierville, Tennessee, just up the street from Dollywood and Pigeon Forge. Um, opened in the late 90s as NASCAR was really getting booming. The doors were locked on... I think it was May of 2006. Uh, the inside of this place basically remained untouched until uh, 2017, when apparently the courts decided everything must go. So, uh, big auction, and one of the primary buyers in this was a good friend of mine through online races and contacted me to... Um, facilitate removing all of the memorabilia and things they had purchased and probably the bulk of what was in here was included in this job. So one of the first things we're faced with is removing this uh, granite giant circular sidewalk out front of the restaurant. Uh, like three foot square inch and a half thick granite blocks. Each one had the name and the dates of the various drivers who've won the Bristol race here. Um, we spread the work on that out over the whole three days we were there. But we had some bigger challenges like um, this Daytronic scoreboard. Uh, this thing was huge. And when you take a job like this, you're, you know, <laughs> some of it you just trust your instinct, you'll figure it out when you get there. But man, this was a logistical nightmare to figure out how to get it apart once we had a plan we got to it. But, um, Rigging was tricky and very little extra vertical space to deal with. Um, so that was a bunch of fun. Then we had uh, all of these pit signs and pit boards and, and all those glass dividers like this one. Um, and man, they, they screwed these, the track down to the wood and, and then siliconed it all together. You know, so that was a trick to remove. Uh, glass display cases. Um, we had things weren't fun enough to get the building usable, have some power and water. Uh, they electrician came in and pretty much wired everything on one circuit. So they, anything we had to do electronic wise, we had to do live. Uh, had no way to really shut down power or the water for that matter. Um, nobody had any clue where the main shutoff was and and had plenty other stuff uh, to deal with man lots and lots and lots of frame things um, mannequins helmets drivers uniforms this is one of Ron Hornaday's I think this is from his first championship uh, just everywhere a whole lot of things to pack and remove this piece was pretty cool a virtual reality ride um, Basically, you sat inside, and all the hydraulics here kind of shook this around while you watch the screen inside to give you the NASCAR experience. But I had this giant pit and all the hydraulic operations for this mounted up on the roof, this control panel and whatnot. I know the uh, winning bidder is quotes to have this removed were astronomical, and you know, a little more lead time. I would have loved the opportunity to try and get that out of there for him. I believe it may have gotten bulldozed with the building. We had uh, several of these signs that had to come down. Fortunately, they were all on switches, so we were able to not have to work hot on those. And Oh yeah, a bunch of cars to take down too. And the, the guys on the car removal crew, awesome job, fellas. Um, everything went smooth. Uh, this particular car, Dale Jarrett's quality care, uh, was my client's favorite. Uh, it turns out to be the only one that we had a risky moment with. Most of the cars that were up there went to Mark Martin's museum. Uh, as I said, this was one of my client's favorites. Just the way the wall in the, the corner up there was, we couldn't get square under the car, so he's carrying it very uh, too close to the nose here. And you got these two big guys pulling down on a rope to try and offset it, which works fine right up till it starts getting close to the ground and obviously uh, as it gets real close to the ground uh, they can't pull down no more and the, uh, the car starts to shift a little bit here and 
luckily yeah. doesn't look that bad in video but man it was close to falling there but no damage no harm no foul so that was awesome uh, this is uh, Dale Senior's Coca-Cola 600 car and the Coca-Cola livery uh, great looking car I forgot how pretty that paint job was um, Rusty's car I'm pretty sure that went over to Mark Martin's museum this Jeff Gordon car was hanging on that foyer Here's the remains of where the uh, autograph wall was. I was proud of this. Uh, see the live plumbing running through there, live wires coming down the wall. And we got that out in one piece intact, no damage, no harm. So, uh, yeah, it was a fun job. It was kind of sad to see a piece of history go away, but uh, yeah, it's cool to do. Uh, you don't get a chance to do things like this often, so I just thought I'd share it with you. Any questions or anything about is uh like subscribe whatever thanks